Good morning, my friends. It is 3.30. <laughs> There's just no cool way of saying that without feeling horrible. Um, but yeah, it's 3.30 a.m., in case that was confusing. And uh, yeah, so I just woke up. Gonna take my last shower in civilization for a little bit. And uh, we're going to be hitting the road, hopefully, by four. And that's about as exciting as it gets at 3.30 a.m. in the morning. So I will see you guys again when we're on the road. And, yeah, see you soon. It is 5.42, 5.43 a.m. Just switched over. What great timing. Um, we are stopping at Dunkin' Donuts, because obviously. And uh, we just checked out on the way to South Dakota. We just stopped at um, my dad's old college, Gustavus Adolphus College in, uh, where are we? St. Peter. In St. Peter, Minnesota. Um, his college is the same size as my high school. Um, but it's a beautiful campus, so we had to stop. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be hitting the road here soon, so. All right, we just crossed into South Dakota. I did in fact miss the sign when we crossed over, so I'm super upset about that, but that's, that's in the past now. Um, we have 405, more miles left we should be getting there around one o'clock once we stop for lunch and stuff um we'll probably stop at wall drug coming up here soon um because you have to stop at wall drug when you're in south dakota and yeah we're having fun singing songs and enjoying the ride so see you guys soon hello everybody we are still driving uh, we got about four hours to go. Um, I just wanted to talk about something really quick. Um, I think their name is Silver Slugger, uh, an account that commented on my most recent Day Zero video. Um, brought something to my attention that I hadn't known. Um, you can prepare as much as you want for a trip. You can plan it, and you can organize everything, and still something somehow always goes wrong. Um, but apparently, uh, there's a section of the trail that will be closed because they're doing road maintenance. Um, it's the Sheridan Lake to Brush Creek. Um, it's just a 15-ish mile section of the trail. Um, for reference, for those of you who don't have a map in front of you, it's my day four. Um, it's a portion of my day four hike. Um, basically, part of the trail is going to be closed, um, and so I called a local station, and I'm uh, like ranger station, and I'm trying to figure all of that out right now. So hopefully, the next video I'm going to put on here, I will have a reference for you on what they said and hopefully a plan of attack for a reroute for that part of the trail so um cross your fingers hopefully good things come <laughs> awesome wind cave national park we're about five miles from the trailhead let's do it we have made it to the trailhead perfectly on time for a 14 mile day hopefully i'll end in the right spot and if you're wondering if i'm excited yes i am <laughs> all right i am headed out on the trail it's a little windy so if that's messing with sound a little bit i apologize but i unfortunately cannot control nature <laughs> but yeah let me show you what i'm working with here at the beginning of this trail i'm in a valley i saw a bison on the way here, on the drive here. I will definitely record it if I see it again. There's a little bit of snow on the ground, which is weird because it's 60, but it's as good as it gets. Let's go. I'm just stopping to take a little break. I put on my 
wind pants and my warmer outer, I don't know, mid layer, I guess it's called, uh, my fleece. <laughs> and I am uh, just stopping, I'm gonna eat a snack. Got some raisins and peanut M&Ms, the best uh, trail mix ever made. And yeah, listening to the chirping of the, what do I call them, prairie dogs? And uh, yeah, it's pretty peaceful. If you listen close, you can kind of hear them. They're saying, please stop hurting the national parks. Oh my gosh, leave at least something for our future generation. I don't know, they may not be saying that, but maybe they should. I don't know if you can hear them chirping. That guy right there in the middle of the screen. It's like a little, I don't know what they're called, but it's anonymous to like a prairie dog. I think it's called a prairie dog, yeah. And he's warning his buddies that I'm here. All these little dark spots all out there are holes or bison poop, which is evidence but not proof that they exist. Yeah, he's going psycho. Well, I will move away from your home, but uh, thank you for letting me hang out here for a little bit. <laughs> So you might be asking yourself, <clears throat> hey Peter, did you just possibly have a minor heart attack? And the answer to that is yes. Um, not literally, thank God, but I did just freak out a whole lot because I was just running a quick section of the trail because I was feeling good and it was a little bit downhill and I, whatever. <laughs> and I get out to take a picture, pull my phone out. Oh wait, my phone isn't there. Holy crap. I went about a quarter mile down the trail and then I just hiked a quarter mile back. Obviously I found it since I'm recording this. And uh, yeah, it was at the top of that ridge, that ridge line, that hill up there. It's just chilling up there. So I had to hike a, about a quarter mile back to go find that. Um, thank God for the little ding, ding, ding that you have on the watch, you know, the find my iPhone thing that's not really find my iPhone, but it's kind of like find my iPhone. Man, did I ever just get lucky. I don't even know how I dropped it, honestly. I really thought it was in my uh, back pocket. It wasn't there, so. Teaches me to be careful. Woo. All right. <laughs> Hello everybody, I am at mile 7.75, um, since I had to trek back and grab my phone, my mileage is a little bit off, but I think I'm around 7 and 3 quarters, um, it is 5 o'clock, so it's a little later than I was hoping to be at this point, but um, I'm a little ways into the Custer State Park and I just had to take a break for a minute because the wind is absolutely, you can hear it, but it's just whipping and whipping and whipping. It's definitely slowing me down a little bit. Um, I finally put on my wind jacket slash rain jacket and my pants now. So I'm extra windproof. I've got my fleece on, so pretty warm. Um, but that sun is hiding behind the clouds. Looks like it's getting dark, but I hope it's not because got a little ways to go still. Um, might have to end up doing a little bit of night hiking, but um, shouldn't be more than a little bit. So I'm gonna eat a snack and then uh, stretch a little bit and keep on trekking. See ya. Hello, hello, everybody. I am uh, about four miles from my ending location. Um, I'm actually stopping right now because it's already 6.30 and I would like to eat dinner. So I'm gonna make my dinner and then I'll probably try to go at least 12 today. I'd really like to hit my 14. Um, just depends on how I'm feeling after dinner. I'm positive I'll be feeling a lot better than I am now. Currently eating some peanut butter and honey on a tortilla. It was gonna be more, don't worry, that's not it. While uh, 
I'm cooking up my ramen over here, which is ready. That was fast. I cannot begin to explain how needed that break for, for food was. Um, it's definitely getting dark. The sun's going down. Um, I have my headlamp just in case it gets really dark, but um, I think that was probably one of the better decisions I've made so far this trip. Uh, I stretched out a little bit. I'm feeling really good. I had warm ramen. Peanut butter always makes me happy. <laughs> All right, hello everyone. Um, I would have preferred to have shown you how I put up my tent and everything in it, but um, <sighs> today's been a long day. It's really cold. It's really windy. And uh, let's just say I, I don't know if I was prepared for how <sighs> mentally strong you need to be to be truly, truly alone out here. Um, I did not see a single soul on the trail today, other than a few deer. <laughs> and um, I miss a lot of people at home, so it was a good first day. Um, but we just, I, I just need to keep pushing. Um, but at the same time, I'm, I'm gonna start listening a little bit to my head too, because I, I don't want to be in a, in a bad place. So. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a good night. Um, I will certainly be sleeping as long as possible. <laughs> um, I'll see you in the morning.